Today I'm going to make the next supplemental video for the laser communicator and in this one we're going to examine the microphone and see what we have to deal with there. My original plan was to use a dynamic microphone but I cannot find raw dynamic microphone elements that I can buy just to put into the circuit. I may still do that by cannibalizing a working microphone but for now let's just go ahead and use a condenser microphone. These are ubiquitous, they're just about everywhere, they're in your cell phone, they're in just about everything these days that has a microphone is using a condenser microphone. The big difference between how this works and a dynamic microphone is that this needs some bias to work. So let's go ahead and bias this up and see what it does for us. So I have a diode here that I'm just putting in the breadboard just to make a connection. I'm not going to, the diode's not going to be part of the circuit. I'm just using it uh, for the convenience of being able to hook my battery to it. And I'm using a 9 volt battery to power this because I intend for the finished circuit to be run on a 9 volt battery. So why not use that at this point? So let's go ahead and power up this microphone and see what it does. So I have a 9 volt battery here. Looking up a couple of clip leads to it. I guess I could get a little battery holder, but I don't have one handy right now. This will do for the time being. Hook up the positive there and the negative there. And we need a bias resistor. I'm going to put a 10K resistor between the positive and the microphone. And see how that works. I've tried a number of values of a resistor here, and it doesn't seem to be very sensitive to what value I use. So there's a 10K resistor, and this is biased and ready to go, except for one thing. I forgot to put the ground in there. So let's hook up a ground wire to the microphone. And missed. Try that again. There we go. That should be hooked up and ready to go. So now let's hook up the oscilloscope to it and see. Oh boy, that's just picking up all kinds of noise from the air. Hook up the oscilloscope. I hooked the, that to the wrong place too. There we go. Don't want to hook it to the other side. Just using the diode as a wire to hook into the power rail. Let's hook the negative to here of the oscilloscope and hook the positive right here. And, well, let's see. Let's move this. There we go. Set that to AC coupling so that... Uh, that stays on the screen. Remember the AC coupling that puts a capacitor in series with the oscilloscope. Let's see if this microphone is doing anything. And there it is, just touching it. I'm going to go ahead and pick this up and whistle at it. A lot of noise in there because of these open uh, leads here picking up a lot of electrical noise. But if I blow on it, that's just my breath hitting it. It makes a mess. Let's see if I can whistle across it. And just talk in a normal voice. I'm holding it about three inches from my mouth and talking into it. If I pop my peas into it, you see it makes quite a mess. But if I talk across it, one, two, three. Now for the real circuit, I need to put a capacitor here to block the DC from the rest of the circuit. So I'll go ahead and put that right here. This is a one. This, can you see it? That's not my one microfarad. Here we go. Here's a nice big, I think that's big enough to read, one microfarad. Let's put that right here. And I can use an electrolytic capacitor here, but I'm just using a, uh, a uh, plastic film capacitor right now. Hook that up. Shouldn't be any different because there's already a capacitor in the oscilloscope, but I just wanted to show in the real circuit. I will need a capacitor there. Whistle at it. And talk into it. And you see I get about, I'm um, set at 20 millivolts per division and I'm getting just about that 20 millivolts peak to peak. So that's what I have to deal with, about 20 millivolts peak to peak when talking uh, into the microphone. That will, have, that will have to be amplified enough to operate the laser, which wants a voltage to go between 3.5 and 5 volts. So that's quite a bit of amplification, and we'll see about designing that and making that work. If you found this video useful and informative, please give me a thumbs up down below. It really helps the channel. And subscribe because that not only informs you when I put new videos up, but it really helps the channel also. And a big thank you to my patrons at Patreon. I could not make these videos without your support. 
If you want to help me put these videos online and keep real vocational education free at vocademy.net, you can go to Patreon slash join slash vocademy and pledge your support. And again, a big thank you to my patrons who make this possible, and a big thank you to everyone for watching.